watching News 24 Live, welcome to this week's Super Rugby preview and prediction show with our rugby panel from Sport 24, Chief Writer Rob Howing and Editor Garen Lamley. Gents, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Good morning, Nick. Rob, I'm going to start with you with a cracker tomorrow morning, Friday morning, Crusaders versus the Chiefs. All this talk about uh, Dan Carter facing up with Sonny Bill Williams, who I see has been cleared to play. Yeah, it be a good year. it'll be an absolutely cracker. I mean, it's it's we're getting to that stage now where there are lots of these sort of neutralizing games going mm -hmm. on in the New Zealand conference. We know it's very much uh, uh, there are four quality sides uh, basically. Uh, only the Blues can be considered to be really sort of out of the picture now. Mm -hmm. But you've got four really uh, contesting uh, New Zealand teams, you know, wanting fiercely to get into the playoffs. Um, of course, only a certain number of them can make the the cut uh, because of the you know the, the structural nature of the beast. So it just adds to the the sort of competitiveness uh, of it. Um, Difficult one to call because the Crusaders are, are so sort of up and down. Uh, yeah. Sometimes they're absolute magic um, on, on any given day, as we saw when they uh, you know, dismantled the Sharks 52-10 uh, in Durban. But uh, they also have their sort, of, their, their sort of really fallible days where you sort of think uh, they're not quite the force of yesteryear. Mm. They don't seem to have that cons constant sort of winning culture. Um, I haven't even made up my mind yet from my Super Bowl point of view how to go with this game because it's so tough. But uh, I'm also just... just wondering whether maybe the Chiefs uh, don't uh, perhaps have a slight edge. Uh, you know, they're the, the team who's more recently won Super Rugby. They've won the title twice mm. in the last, uh, you know, three or four years. So um, uh, they, they sort of, you know, it suggests that they, they're quite sort of tuned to this, this time of the season when things are getting a little bit uh, more tense, mm. uh, when your BMT sort of comes to the fore. Um, so I, I may just be leaning a little bit towards the Chiefs, but I think it'll be a, a fantastic Friday, uh, Friday kickoff, that one. How do you see that one going, Gary? I agree with Rob. I think the Chiefs, um, even though they're coming off a bye, you know, having Sunny Ball return to their team, Aaron Creedon playing some good rugby, and they've kept the entire pack the same, which I think is quite key. You know, got Liam Messam in there and some, some quality forwards. Even though they're playing away from home, there's just something about this Crusaders team. You know, even in their 52-10 their win over the Sharks, they, their discipline was awful. They had three yellow cards. And I think, you know, the scoreline obviously flattered them a little bit. You know, with the Sharks down to 14 men for the entire second half. I don't think that's a true reflection of how good the Crusaders actually are. They flew all the way back home the next weekend and, and went down at home against the Highlanders. So, um, you know, their, their season is in the balance. They really have to start winning if they, you know, retain any hope of, of reaching the, the, the playoffs. But... Um, I just, I just see the Chiefs sneaking this one. I, I mean, I agree, it should be a fantastic game, very difficult to call. You, you wouldn't be surprised if either team actually won. Um, but I think I'm going to go um, with the Chiefs um, to maybe upset, if it's an upset, the, the Crusaders in Christchurch. But again, by two or three points at most. 